What's up, everyone? This is Phoenix from Phoenix TV here with Bird's Brain, the show where I play a trivia game and you guys make fun of me. I'm going to play Episode 1, the San Francisco Otter Choir. I may or may not have played this one before, like a week ago, so we'll see how good I can remember things. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and hey, wipe that smile off your face. This is serious. Okay, just kidding. There will be parts and stuff. Just me and you? That's good. Now we can talk real loud. You're and on, Cookie. The adventure of the game is being sponsored by the San Francisco Otter Choir. Free concerts every Wednesday, except for mating season. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Alright. So note to self, and we're off. keep looking for things that are Otter Choir related. Question one. First question. Bootyful. Nice. Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain ah. is just made up of water? 10%, 40%, 80%, or Kim 80. Kardashian's brain and everybody else's brain. We're mostly matter, water, but not 100%, so it has to be 80. Water. But Go me. The 20% is just so round and firm, I can't stop thinking about it. Ah. Take a stab at his acting is all right, all right, all right. Sounds so like McConaughey. You know they called Matthew McConaughey's I was resurgence right. as an actor his McConaissance. Well, if Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? McConaissance. So is in the Renaissance. Ages, the McCona that followed age, the, the McCona Middle Ages. Middle the Renaissance first occurred in Italy in the late 14th century, immediately following the Middle Ages. Sweet. So the McConaissance would follow the McCona Middle Ages. Which is funny because most Renaissance sculptures also need to put on a damn shirt. Hmm. And on its way, brought to you by the letter U, Nebrow. Anthony Davis it's the for the New York. Ah. And if you get this one right, I'll rustle up some extra moolah for you. Arrange these Sesame Street, Sesame Street characters, characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Bert, Ernie, the Count. Okay, the Ernie, Count has Bert, two. The Count, Bert, Ernie, and he's the only the one, Count, so does Count, Bert have Ernie, one or, or is it Ernie? The Count, Bert. I think Bert has one. Ernie has no eyebrows at all. Bert has one long Sweet. single eyebrow. And the Count has two. Two eyebrows! <laughs> That earned you an extra grand. And yet, none of them have ever blinked. That is a disturbing thought. Coming up next, Duck Duck Swan. Say the cast of Duck Dynasty attends a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real water that would be bad. on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely uh, shoot? The, the, the princess. Benno, Von Rothbart, or Odette? Yeah, her name was Odette, Odette in the show. Odette has been turned into a swan, so the Duck Dynasty crew would probably fill her full of lead. Sweet. Especially if they find out she once fooled around with a lady swan in college. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not familiar with the actual play, but there was like a kids show whenever I was little, and that was one of them, and I watched it. I remember that it was the princess that was at. The man in the backwards yellow hat, and it's a dis or dat. Dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's. An alleged antic Fantastic. by pop star Justin Bieber, or an antic by the classic children's book character Curious <laughs> George. If it's Justin Bieber, press the X button. That, if it's Curious that George, that sounds complicated. Press the B we'll button. go with it. All right, let's get started. Peed in a mop bucket. That's Bieber. Broke his leg falling from a fire. Bieber never broke a leg. Arrested for falsely reporting a fire. George. At the house. Bieber. Got high on ether. George? Got a bugle to an ostrich. 
George would do that. That's Bieber. I always believed in you. Sweet. And that means gets me the perfect dis time, dis or that. To get deported. And then it's your turn, Bieber. <laughs> That'll bring an end to our first round. And surprisingly, you're doing pretty well. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. All right. And don't forget, big cash prizes can be yours. Oh, yeah. The otter thing. The game. Okay, let's do this. Pucker up for Dumber and Dumber two. Nice. So there's Dumb and Dumber, and then there was T -O, Dumb but... and Dumberer, and then you know, Dumb like the and movie. Dumber 2. Makes perfect sense. Now, going back a few decades, there was The Odd Couple and The Odd Couple 2. So, if another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective... Superlative. Superlative be being the, the most, which is generally the est. Otter, okay, I think Otter is actually going to be like the mystery thing, but I'm on a perfect curl, so with Otter. Otter is the adjective, Otter is the comparative adjective, and Oddest is the superlative adjective. Okay. But of course, everyone who made the original Odd Couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. Oh yeah, Rob Schneider. This one's called Let It Go, Let It Go, oh, God. Let It Go. I just watched the movie last night. At which temperature would Wasn't fall awful. off from the movie Frozen, Melt and Die? 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 Kelvin degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit's 30 degrees not quite 32 Celsius, Celsius 30 on the other hand, way over 32 below Fahrenheit. freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. And I know, blah blah blah, he could magically be saved, but I'm talking about what would happen in the real world to a talking snowman. Oh yeah, absolutely. I love these transitions. Here's one I like to call, Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. I bet those are the options. First spotted in 1879, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Einstein. Albert Einstein That's was about the right first year. spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Sweet. Probably by a midwife or something over a century after Uranus was discovered and even longer after Kangaroos and Peanuts. I've heard baby Einstein cried a lot because he left behind some important equations on the uterine wall. <laughs> Next, wine or lose. If the Washington Redskins rebranded themselves with a non-offensive Redskins mascot, what could they be called? The Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Liquors. Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs, uh, or the Washington Redskins? Well, I know for certain that Pinot Blanc, Blanc being Blanco for white, the Malbecs? Chardonnays, Pinot Blancs, and Rieslings are all white-skinned grapes, oh, but the Malbec grape God. is red. Okay, Although save it. a connoisseur it. like myself, Malbec is very offensive. <laughs> oh yes, I do say that was quite a burn. Take a good look at... I want to lick and roll all night. If Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how deep into a woman's mouth could he stick it when he kissed her? About 5 inches deep, about 10 inches deep, about 20 inches deep, or about 30 inches Those deep? Those are really long. Ten? Interesting choice. Dang! So, honestly... An adult giraffe's oh. tongue is on average about 18 to 20 inches long. So that's about and there goes the perfect game. Mouth, a giraffe tongued Gene Simmons Almost had it. it. And if Gene Simmons' neck grew to the length of an adult giraffe's, he may not even need women anymore. Ha. Uh oh. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 
2,000 bucks if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. The Chicago and, and Payne City don't match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. <sighs> Your house is made of what? What materials right. are the houses made from? Hansel and Gretel's witch was candy. Or was it gingerbread? Not cards. No. Alright! It was gingerbread. I always thought it was kind of candy, but it works. Second of the pigs was straw, sticks, and bricks. So, sticks. Not old cars. This game really draws out the tension. Yeah, there we go. Patrick, he's from a rock. Not a pineapple. So intense. God, human skin. Yep. The Pueblo. That was Adobe. Who also makes fine editing products. We shouldn't throw stones. Glass houses. So their house is made of glass. Ah, oh, I jumped at that. Glass. Dang it. Tapeworms. They live inside your body. In the digestive system. Intestines. Specifically. Frank Underwood. Is he? I guess he is House of Cards. Alright, so I almost was able to memorize everything. The friggin' giraffe got me. Giraffe tongues. He doesn't know I'm living there. Anyway, be sure to tune in next week for another round of Bird's Brain. Uh, hopefully, I will do better without having previously played the round. Yeah. Thanks for watching.